Rainy days in the case of the freaking Mondays. You know why? Because for the past 72 hours, it's been doing nothing but raining outside. And you know what? Instead of getting all down in the dumps and gloomy, I said, you know what? Maybe there's somebody out there that's experiencing the same thing that I'm experiencing. And maybe I could just create a video like I've been saying for the past two weeks that I'm going to create and do it for them to put a smile on the face. But not only that, but to make 10 great recommendations plus one honorable mention. I won't forget about you. Don't worry. And yeah, that's what we're here to do. I'm going to give you 11, because we have that honorable mention, solid recommendations that fit perfectly for rainy days. Stay tuned. All you beautiful people from all over the world, I appreciate you. My name is Dave. This channel is all about grooming and fragrance. If you dig the vibe, subscribe, hit the like button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Rainy days, man. Yeah, I've been feeling like I live in Seattle, but, but I don't. No offense to those that live in Seattle. I'm just saying, it's been doing nothing but raining. I mean, it's... It, it's really nothing new here, okay? It rains a lot in the springtime here. It's just one of those things and it is what it is. But that doesn't mean we have to be down in the dumps because people say that that's the way you need to feel when it's raining outside. No, fragrance is beautiful and it can help us feel a bit more lively, okay? A bit more lively, put a smile on our face, bring joy to our lives. And yes, that is exactly what we are talking about today. Starting off, with the honorable mention. Cut to the edit and show the first fragrance. That's the honorable mention. <laughs> I'm so cute, aren't I? Anyway, the honorable mention comes from the House of Floris, and this is Elite. Elite is so freaking good. Criminally underrated here on YouTube. Nobody talks about this fragrance, and it is just damn good. This is a, a woody aromatic, I believe, is what it's classed as. But here, let me tell you about it. It has beautiful, fresh aromatic spices that you're going to find within here. It goes in like the fougere direction, like it kind of, it's going there, but not quite, you know, and it has like a, this barbershop aftershave tonic, you know, type of feel to it. Beautiful aromatic spices, lavender, I believe you could find in here. There's definitely woods here present in the base, especially you experience it more when it dries down, but something about the experience when you spray this on and it's raining outside and you walk outside, you're like, Damn, this is a pretty good match right here. So if this is the honorable mention and I feel like it's this good, wait until you see the actual 10. But anyway, Floris Elite. Okay, now that we are into the list, I need to tell you what you are watching here properly right now. So the first five that you are going to be hearing, oh, first of all, this is not a rank list. Second of all, we got five designers, five niche. None of these fragrances are better than each other or anything like that. This is not a ranked video or any sort of thing. So we have five designers, five niche. Here we go. Kicking the list off properly. Shout out to you, Floris Elite. Appreciate it. But this one is Bleu de Chanel Parfum. I love this stuff. It's so good. I really don't even need to talk about it, but I'm going to. Bright citrus, fresh, electric, energizing personality that this one has, and I freaking love it. This would be, like if I had a signature scent for the office, this would be one, definitely for sure. I wear the hell out of this, especially in there. It's just, it's very pleasing to me as, you know, wearing it, compliments, no doubt about it. You are going to get attention with any concentration of Blue De Chanel uh, fragrances. Compliments aren't something that I really care to talk about over and over and over, but you guys love them. And I could confidently tell you that yes, you will experience a lot of compliments on this, but why rainy days? Well, like I said, it has that bright, energetic citrus opening that, you know, maybe you feel a little funky when it's raining outside. And you're like, oh, this weather's bringing me down. This will put a nice smile on your face. Like I said, with those bright citruses there in the top, but the important thing is, is that dry down, that woody, dry vetiver-esque kind of like you know dry down that you get i'm still convinced there's vetiver in this freaking thing even though they don't credit it anywhere in a note breakdown i'm convinced of it but anyway this is just perfect to wear because of that you know and the parfum this one here 
is more sophisticated. It's, it's elegant, you know, out of the three Bleu de Chanel concentrations. And it's more refined, you know? So uh, all in all, this is a great fragrance. Does that mean the other two, you know, the Eau de Parfum, the Eau de Toilette, are they garbage? Hell no, they're great. They're great. For me personally, I'm preferring this one right now, the, uh, the, the Parfum version. If you haven't checked this one out, guys, get your nose on, on the whole line and just, uh, just see which one you like best and grab it. It's so good, especially if you need a dumb reach fragrance, but perfect for rainy days too. Blue de Chanel, Parfum. All right, story time with Dave for a moment here. So picture this, right? You have a date. You have a date, it's a five-star restaurant. They're known for their spectacular outdoor dining situations, okay? For whatever reason, you figure that out in your brain. I'm just painting you the picture here. It got canceled, why? Because the freaking rain, the rain. That bastard canceled your beautiful dinner date with this perfect tent of a female that you're going out and you got excited about. Now, you, you're a smart man, you're a smart man. What's a guy to do? Oh, babe, no problem, I got a plan B. I've got a plan B. Still wear your party dress. We are going out and we're hitting the town and you, my friend, are going to pull out and wear, whoa, hey, take it easy. Gentlemen, Givenchy Eau de Parfum. This stuff is amazing. Perfect for date night spring situations. Are you kidding me? Buttery, creamy, iris, fresh spices. Whoa, buddy, what are you doing? Relax, some woods in here. It is, this is so good. It's elegant and sophisticated. It's mature without smelling, you know, outdated or anything like that. This is a grown man's type of floral fragrance. And this is one she is going to love. She's going to be coming in close to you and telling you, mmm, you smell so nice. Do you like being told you smell so nice? <laughs> if you do, you need to check out gentlemen, Givenchy. Oh, the next one. Well, this guy is the master of seduction. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys, but it's not me. Oh, there's nobody here. That was awkward. Anyway, comes from the house of Tom Ford. And this one is Ombre Leather. This one is the Parfum. Guys, I've been digging this. I really have. Beautiful white florals. Mmm, that leather. There's still a touch of that raspberry fruitiness in the top. They don't credit it, but eh, you can't fool me. It's still there you have some nice woods here some spices going on it's very aromatic it's bold it's attention getting and this pairs perfectly with the rain seriously if you have this and you're like yo this guy's crazy okay test me out spray this on your arm get it all up in your nose hairs okay walk outside and you're gonna be like oh my god that crazy guy was right he's still crazy but he's right guys seriously though this is one you need to check out, especially when it's raining. I'm telling you, something about this dark yet beautiful, you know, white florals with that, that fruity nuance that goes on in here. So there's something very attractive and perfect for the way, I don't know, this smells just when it's raining outside. I know the combination is whacked out to think about, but I'm telling you, it it's so true, it's crazy. Put on a black t-shirt like I got now, spray this one on, go outside, and tell me that's not a match made in heaven. Check it out from Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. The next fragrance, one of my very favorites on. This one has risen to damn near the top of my, my collection as being one of my very favorites. This one, coming from the house of Guerlain, this is Heritage or Heritage depending on how you like to pronounce that. <laughs> if I even pronounce that correctly. This one here, it opens up so bright and nice. So again, you have like this energizing quality to it. You have some nice spices in here, some woods for sure. What I love about this is the combination of moss and patchouli. It gets very earthy. It has this earth smell to it without smelling dirty. You know, sometimes that combination of moss and patchouli, it can smell a little bit on the like the dirty, the dank, dirty side. Not here. They did this perfectly. This formula is great. I love it. You guys know I love being transported outdoors. And that's what this baby does. This is great for casual days. If you want to wear this in the office, you can. I would say this isn't, this is definitely not like a mass appealing type of fragrance. However, it's very inoffensive. I've worn this in the office before and nobody said anything bad to me like, oh, don't ever wear that again. But this shines for 
casual situations or if you're just you know chilling inside your house hanging out whatever it is this is just a great fragrance and if you like being outdoors like i do this is sure to put a smile on your face but like i said guys that damp earthiness that damp earthy quality is really what stands out when i wear this on a rainy day it just fits that whole scenario perfectly check it out from the house at guerlain heritage the last fragrance for my designer picks comes from again the house of tom ford this one is gray vetiver eau de parfum eau de parfum that's the one you guys want to find if you're looking for the better version of the tubes there's also an eau de toilette that exists it's a little bit more on the thin fleeting side this is a little bit more dense of a concentration and uh, it's very long lasting. When I say very long lasting, I get about nine hours, eight to nine hours. It's not a super like, oh man, it's so good. Um, it's not a super long, you know, uh, it's not a super projecting fragrance is what I want to say, but this is a great vetiver fragrance. Great vetiver fragrance. If you're looking for this similar style on a budget, you can go with uh, Ancre Noir from Lalique, their sport. Uh, their sport uh, uh, version of Encore Noir. That's kind of like this. It'll get you in the mindset. Um, this clean, masculine, vetiver, bright. Bright citrus. I believe it's grapefruit. You have some other like florals in, uh, like listed as the, in the note breakdown. I've got to be honest with you. I don't pick any of that up. I get more of like this clean, woody, crisp vetiver in combination with uh, citruses. There's some other woods definitely in here somewhere. Um, I'm going to assume they're white woods just because white woods tend to have like this cleanliness. Maybe cedar wood is in here. This clean, you know, woody vibe to them. That's what I detect here. I'm going to assume it's white woods. I could be wrong. And if I am, I am. It's all good. So those are my five designer picks. This one, the last one, and this one is Tom Ford's Gray Vetiver Eau de Parfum. All right, you guys ready? It's time for the niche picks. I'm ready. Let's do this. The first one here comes to us from the house of Acro, and this is Awake. I really love this stuff. This is a great coffee fragrance through and through. This is going to be on the brighter side. So this one, the reason why I'm featuring it is because this is a coffee fragrance that you actually can pull off and wear in the springtime. Most times when it comes to coffee, you know, coffee tends to be in this gourmand category where we want to kind of preserve those types of fragrances for the fall, for the winter. That's where they are deemed to be most appropriate. Now, the difference with uh, Awake from Acro is the fact that they use brighter notes like grapefruit, I believe, and I think it may be lemon. There's another, there's a combination of citruses up top. Then in the base, you have vetiver, you have other woods. So there's this clean, dry, woody facet going on in the base or in the dry down also, you'll experience it all along there's this beautiful note of coffee and it smells like genuine authentic coffee beans if you ever opened up a bag of coffee and you took a big whiff of coffee beans that is what you're experiencing here but i particularly love the contrast of bright notes even the the dry woody vetiver comes across a little bit on the bright side um contrasted with the coffee it's just a match made in heaven it is perfect for daytime wear, especially when it's raining outside. Rain and vetiver, they go perfect together. They're a match made in heaven. And here it's captured perfectly. If you've not tried um, this particular fragrance from Acro Awake, I highly recommend sampling it. You could sample it on their uh, on their website. Also, they have a brand new fragrance called Ink, which uh, really has piqued my interest and inspired me to put this on, my, uh, on, on the video today. So check it out from the house of Acro Awake. The next pick here is a fragrance that I love. It is my second favorite from this particular house. Comes to us from the house of Killian. Perfume by Alberto Marias, and this is Musk Oud. What a great rose fragrance this is. This is fantastic. It's so good. It's like, oh man, mm, I love this one. This one is just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's very, very long lasting. It's not super projecting, but it's very long lasting. But the reason why it's perfect for rainy days is because you have a contrast of dark and bright. So you have fresh rose. You also have this dark, musky, musty rose going on here. I'm thinking that there's two types of rose in here. 
that I can't remember if they credit Bulgarian or Turkish, but I'm thinking that both are being used here. Also, there's this oud here, but I'm getting more of this damp, woody feel more than I am this oud. So I'm sorry, this damp, woody, spicy wood, this spiced wood type of feel that can commonly be associated with oud. That's what I'm experiencing here. That's what I'm going to credit the oud facet. There also is a, uh, a greenness about this fragrance. The, the fragrance is also green, stemmy kind of quality that's going on here. I'm not quite sure where that's coming from, but guys, if you ever have smelled a rain bush, or a rain bush, a rose bush after it's rained out, after it's raining out outside, very similar to what's going on or the vibe that's you know going on here. Musk Oud is fantastic. You guys definitely need to get your nose on this. Even if you aren't a rose lover, I was not a rose lover before I sampled this. When I sampled this fragrance first, I fell in love. It was a love at first sniff for me and uh, immediately purchased a full bottle. Killian's Musk Oud. Next up on this list comes to us from the house of Amarud, and this is White Hinoki. Awesome, awesome fragrance. Great for rainy days because it's got this combination of fresh spices. You have woods in here. Obviously, there's, you know, hanoki, hanoki wood in here. This is just a beautiful fragrance. I love the uplifting bright notes in the top. And you have ginger along with those citruses. You have woods. You have fresh spices. They credit uh, whiskey. I believe there's a whiskey accord here and tobacco. I faintly get this boozy feel when the fragrance fully dries down on skin, but mainly it's about these woods, about the spices, the fresh spicy quality that this fragrance has, and those bright citrus notes up top. You get all of it and it lasts. This fragrance lasts and lasts and lasts. I get anywhere from 10 hours plus on this fragrance. Again, all along, all the while, it's not going to be a room filler or anything crazy, but this stuff is simply beautiful, attracting, alluring. This is one that is not comparable to any other fragrance out there on the market, at least from what I've sampled, um, sampled a ton, but this does not remind me of anything. So if that's something, you know, we oftentimes in the community, we talk about the word unique. This has the unique factor. It's one thing to have a unique fragrance and it's another thing to have a unique fragrance that smells great, that people will love and people will be intrigued by, right? Because that's another thing too. You want people to ask that question. Wow, you smell great. What are you wearing? I don't care who you are. When somebody says that and you're able to talk about your fragrance, and it's not even about the compliment, it's the fact that you get to talk about something that you're passionate about, it definitely means something to you, right? And that's what I love about this fragrance is it starts and sparks conversations, but it's also perfect for rainy days. If you haven't sampled this or anything else from the house, I highly recommend checking out anything from the brand. White Hinoki is damn good. Check it out. Oh, this fragrance, hot damn frying pan. I hope to God I never say that again. Man, is this one a damn good one. This one is from Flower City Fragrance, and this is Orchard Vetiver. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. It's so good. Let's give this a spray. Come to me, baby. Mmm, so good. Nice, bright, lively citruses. This candied sweetness, as it gets closer to that dry down, you're met with some beautiful, clean, crisp, woody vetiver. And this is mass appealing, delightful, smells great, in the air it's going to get you attention it's going to get you compliments if you love that this one here is a must it's a must try and then it will become a must buy because it's it's mass appealing and it has that quality and factor to it this is one where if you get if the weather can bring you down a bit okay and I, i'm with you that it can happen to me too okay if the weather can bring you down especially when it's raining outside this is one that will cheer you up for sure. A must try in my opinion, and more likely than not, when you try this for the first time, you're going to end up adding a full bottle of this to your collection because it is that good. Again, it's mass appealing. So like, it, more people will end up liking this than not liking this. I wear this into the office 
constantly at least once a week again that's why you guys haven't been seeing weekly rotations videos from me lately because i've been wearing a lot of the same stuff into the office where i spend a majority of my time but anyway guys this stuff is fantastic if you are a vetiver lover if you are new to vetiver if you wrote vetiver off it doesn't matter you need to revisit it you love vetiver you need to try it if you like vetiver you need to try it it's a must try at this point like i've said three times now <sighs> sort your vetiver from flower city fragrance you need to try it <laughs> last but not least it's a purple juice beast it just rhymed and it fit and i'm so the anyway it's from the house of zaharoff and this is signature noir <laughs> man what could i say this is my scent of the day today i love this stuff perfect for rainy days perfect for just hanging out in your house it's so calming soothing relaxing cozy this is great for date nights because it's very seductive it's sensual it's alluring people want to know hey what are you wearing it's dark it's mysterious it's bold it's freaking intoxicating it is so good i love this fragrance it's still yep it is still my favorite in the line still my favorite in the line you know, still DRE. Ha! How many of you are already thinking that? Anyway, guys, this stuff is amazing. What I love about this, why I wore it today, I'll tell you. It's cool outside. It's damp. It's dark. It's gross. I needed something that was, was just going to be the opposite, right? Warm, cozy, comforting. Has a bit of sophistication. Not only sophistication, but confidence. That is this fragrance right here. Oud, myrrh, frankincense is what's dominant in here. You have a bit of lavender in here that you still get from the signature pour home, but the spices, the woods, those are really amped up here. Signature Noir. Perfect for rainy days. All right, guys, that's my time. That's my list. I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't already, subscribe hit that like button notification bell on your way out that works wonders for the channel and i appreciate it i will see you guys very soon um but until then let me know something do you guys pair your fragrances with weather drop a comment down below let's get a conversation started about this topic i would love to conversate with you until next time guys love each other take care of each other respect everyone i will see you very soon Love you guys. Peace.